Hello and welcome back to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel, your source for all things Everton. My name is Thomas, back on the channel today with another 24-7 news report. Of course, we are at the January transfer window, we are trying to bring you these videos daily, but after Marcel Brands came out in the AGM saying we're not going to be doing too much, if any, business in the window uh, because of finances, he's probably happy with the squad as well. Uh, there's been a few... Uh, um, well, fewer links than we might have imagined in the transfer window, but nonetheless, still a few outgoings linked, uh, like Bernard uh, and maybe the odd incoming as well. So apparently, just to kind of round off the Bernard news, we've been bringing you it for a couple of days now. Uh, last night we brought you that Al Nasser have also been interested in him. Uh, Il Tempo, uh, or cited by Sport Witness, claiming that uh, the Roman manager Paolo Francesca has already made contact with Bernard over a move in January. It seems that there are some legs behind this one. Uh, Bernard does seem to be uh, attracting interest and I think that would be uh, a brilliant move if the club can get him off the books. He is, I believe, on one of the highest wages at the club. Of course, we did bring him in on a free transfer, but it hasn't really materialised for, for him. I'm not sure if Ancelotti favours him too much either, so I think we could see him leave the club in the January window. I, as I mentioned, I wouldn't personally be too opposed to that. I think it's getting wages off the books. So if we can get a decent fee from this, uh, it's been quoted by Sky Sports that Al Nasser uh, are willing to pay £10 million for him, which I think would be brilliant business if Marcel Brands can seal that one. And he has spoken as well about trying to reduce the size of the squad. Uh, and another player that has left today on loan this time was Ellis Sims. Uh, the, the, it was interesting the day the Echo came out with, a, with an article uh, quoting um, uh, under 23 is this man just saying that there are there is the possibility of Ellis Sims leaving on loan and then all of a sudden an hour later he has left, he has joined Blackpool uh, after um, uh, under Neil Critchley I should say sorry, uh, apparently uh, he had he had various offers uh, around the football league but he, he's chosen to go to Blackpool uh, and it, it, I think that's a brilliant move for him he did need to get first team football we, we've seen him feature on the bench a couple of times but uh, has, hasn't come on yet uh, I, I did want to see him against Rotherham, see if he could test himself, but since that uh, game was, wasn't was sealed until extra time, shockingly, uh, he didn't manage to get his chance. But good to see a young player get out on loan. Uh, I, th I think that's really good important for him. He, he does uh, have this half a season to hopefully prove himself, prove that he will be uh, in Carlo Ancelotti's future plans. Uh, and, and as on that matter as well, we are now quite short in the striker department. I'm not sure if he was ever necessarily part of the first team squad or whether he's just making up the numbers on the bench. But if Tosun does leave, as he has been linked with, uh, and Calvert Lewin is currently injured, he Calvert Lewin and in theory with Charleston will be our only strikers. But I, I'd probably want another one. So do let us know in the comments down below uh, who you would potentially uh, potentially look at as a, uh, a backup striker to Calvert Lewin. And it, it will be a bit of a problem purely because of the form of Calvert Lewin. We have been linked with Joshua Xerxes, uh, but. Seems like that one. I think Tuto Sport have claimed that, uh, that Everton are kind of going to miss out on that one. The player wants to play regular first team football, and uh, Palmer uh, in the Italian league can uh, offer that. And then, and then a couple of you know kind of lesser rumours that I will mention. Uh, apparently, Everton are set to miss out on Stephen Unzonzi, which I, I didn't even know we were linked with. Uh, the boot room site. West France. I'd like to claim. <laughs> I'd like to pronounce that claim that Unzonzi, who's he's currently a Roma player. Of course, uh, we, we already have uh, Robin Olsen on loan from Roma and apparently we might be doing a deal for Banan as well. So there, there could be a, a couple of players uh, coming and going as part of that deal, but apparently he will remain on loan at Rene, where he's going to be playing this season for the uh, well, for the rest of the year. And then uh, a player that was, was linked quite a while ago now and there, there hasn't been too much on it is, uh, of course, Brandon Williams from Manchester United. Uh, left back, he's... Basically third choice now. Luke Shaw's playing very well and Alex Tellers they brought in uh, for big money in the summer so he's basically found himself third choice at the club. Uh, but uh, Keith Downey uh, and Sky Sports uh, and I'll quote him here. I know there's interest in Brandon Williams uh, from Manchester United but we have mentioned Southampton via Leverkusen so there is a lot of interest in him. Uh, so apparently Newcastle are interested as well as alongside Everton. Uh, I'm not sure if I can see this one being too realistic uh, with with. We, we do have various kind of backup left back options at the club. We've seen how brilliant Ben Godfrey has been filling in in that role. We do have Nkunku, whether Ancelotti trusts him to come into Premier League football or not. Uh, Lucas Digne is back fit as well, so that, that, that's positive to see. Uh, and other than that, there, there isn't too much news. Um, former under 23 captain Morgan Feeney has joined uh, Carlisle United, which is which is good to see. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to see the former academy players getting those. Getting those moves to hopefully play first team football. Of course, he he, he was on Sunderland at the, in the first half of the season. Uh, that move uh, didn't quite work out for him. Didn't quite materialise. But uh, he has now found another move. And uh, I believe Brendan Galloway has joined Shrewsbury uh, alongside Matthew Pennington. So 
and, and, and as the uh, the account tweeted, should we having shades of Martinez as evident there now? Uh, so that that's pretty much all the transfer news for you today. Not too many significant rumours, but a, but a couple of uh, couple of rumours nonetheless. So let us know down below in the comments what you thought about all of these rumours that we have discussed. Who would you potentially bring in as a backup striker to Calvert Lewin? Uh, check out all the top blue social media for all the latest transfer updates uh, and join us next time on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, no,